What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a thrift challenge. Me versus cameraman Nick right here. We are going to see who can find the most expensive sneakers throughout four different sneaker stores. Now the goal is to get a pair at each store unless they're just absolutely trash. We're gonna be going our separate ways today. I'm gonna have a camera, Nick's gonna have a camera, and we're gonna be going to different places to see what we can get. Now I have to give a shout out to FaZe Rug. He's the one I actually saw this video from, but we're taking it to a different step of the most expensive sneakers to see what we can find, see if we can find some hype. Now we're not gonna go to like sneaker consignment stores. These are like actual thrift stores like Goodwill, like Ragorama, stuff like that. Before we head out, I wanna remind you guys about the one million subscriber giveaway. If you can't see all these items over here behind cameraman Nick, you can win one of those items. There's over 20 items as well as we're giving away $1,000 cash. If you guys wanna see all the rules to that giveaway, it will be linked down below in the description, the last video that there was. Now the winner is going to be announced this coming Sunday. I think there's gonna be a video coming out for that. Either that or I'm gonna be going live on Instagram, something like that. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and head our separate ways. Let's go see we can find a thrift store and say what's up Nate what's going on guys ready to get these shoes all right let's see if you can do some better stuff we'll check back in once everything's done and see who did the better job my first stop is going to be a place called Ragorama, which is located in the kind of hipster area called Little Five Points in Atlanta. This place is actually really cool and has a lot of good vintage stuff. I don't know about the sneakers because I have not been in there for the sneakers. I've been in there looks at some shirts, but they also have some sick shirts. So throughout the day, if Nick and I find some like really cool vintage clothing and stuff too, we will go ahead and do that. Now, I'm trying to decipher what does a vintage store mean because I have a little bit of a trick up my sleeve for a store that is a thrift store, but it's for designer clothes but I don't know if Nick knows about it so hopefully we don't go to the same stores today that would be kind of funny if we cross paths Ragorama if I've had a really sick like vintage tee I'll probably buy it too and then we'll show you what we end up getting for that the goal is two sneakers there's four stores two sneakers each we'll see what happens unless I find four at each we'll go ahead and we're gonna head out at Ragorama my list is Ragorama Goodwill a place called RCR consignment which is a vintage thrift store and then lastly a place called Buffalo Exchange which most of you guys probably know about it's a pretty common place throughout the US and that place I it's probably going to be one of our best bets. Got a really sick painting up on this wall. That Model 3 is actually pretty sick too, but check that out. A huge mural. Pretty quiet over here. It's like a Tuesday, so I'm excited to go in, see what we can find. Hopefully nobody has hit any of the shelves yet and we can find some good stuff. I just finished up over there. I actually totally forgot that the Ragorama and that was there. There might even be more vintage. Unfortunately, there was mainly like country western stuff, like a lot more boots. They did have one pair of like older, older Jordans, but we're gonna go over to the Ragorama over here and see what is different. But that place was cool. Did you see that insane wall of t-shirts? Like if I wanna find a t-shirt, I'm going back there. But let's hit Ragorama now, it's down there. Hopefully we can find some a little bit better, maybe a little bit more. I'm looking for more like, retro jordans like maybe like an old jordan one that's really beat or something that would be cool but we'll see once we get over ragorama it's right over here this area is like dead right now but it's really sick all right so i got my list of places to hit together i'm gonna go to i'm gonna hit in town thrift i'm gonna hit second life buffalo exchange probably goodwill northeast plaza southern thrift market and ragorama so i've already got my first place picked out i'm gonna hit southern thrift market let's see what they got so let's hop in the car get this trip started and see what we can find So I just got out of Southern Thrift Market. I'm not gonna lie, that place looked a lot crazier in pictures and then when I walked in, store is massive. But 
pretty much took an L. They did not have much for shoes. I didn't want to leave there with nothing. I don't think that's going to keep up with whatever Harry might have got, so I'm definitely going to need to find some heat in these other stores. I think I'm going to hit Ragorama next. Hopefully, hopefully they got something. So I just finished up and I ended up finding a pair of Jordan 11 Space Jams in a size 9. They're in a pretty decent condition. The, uh, the sole is definitely yellowing. It's an older pair, but it's not that bad a condition. So now I've been to two stores. I got two more to go and hopefully we can find something good. I don't think I'm going to beat any, any other stores. Like uh, I'm not going to find something like this at Goodwill, I don't think. But I'm happy with that for my first pickup. There's probably even more vintage stores down here, but I, I think I'm done here. Ragorama was actually really good. They had a lot of like a Gucci low top that was like $80. They had some Jordan 5, some Jordan 1, some random ones, but this is the best pair. This was behind the counter, one that you had to have them bring down to you to see. So really good pickup. Two more stores to go. Alright, so I just finished up over at Ragorama. They got a pretty good selection. They got a lot of nice shoes, a lot of cheaper shoes, a lot of more expensive shoes. Walked in, was looking around for probably like at least 10 minutes before I even realized that they had like a nice, nice shoe wall. So I picked up a pretty cool looking Jordan 1, one that I haven't really seen, so we'll see how that stacks up. This is where we're headed, but there's no parking. If you guys have never heard of Buffalo Exchange, it's essentially another thrift store. It's kind of like, it's people know what's in there. So they basically hand select things that are on par with trends, like not necessarily just random things that are donated. It's like they know what people like at this time of year in this area where they live. So hopefully there's some good stuff, but probably will be behind the counter. So far, no luck finding a lot of just regular shoes, just some like uh, Jordan 1 mids, some Air Maxes, size 13, but nothing crazy. They're all like 40 to 80 bucks, I would say. So we're gonna keep looking. I think look around a little bit more and then might head out after that because I don't think it's gonna happen. So I just left the Buffalo Exchange and I really feel like I keep taking L's. Going to these thrift stores and I'm finding shoes. I'm finding a lot of shoes, but not like, not anything worth picking up. I think I'm gonna do, since all I was able to pick up from this last store was like a okay looking pair of Air Force Ones, I'm gonna hit the other Rago Rama location because they had a bunch of good shoes and hopefully I can pull off one more good shoe before we get back.
RCR has a ton of designer goods in here. A lot of these I wouldn't classify necessarily as a sneaker. I guess you could say some of that Gucci Ace sneakers are sneakers, but I think for the most part, there's a lot of Christian Louboutins and some Chelsea boots, stuff like that. But I did find one pair of actual sneakers that I think I might go with, and they're a really good price, only about 100 bucks. So I think this would be a good pickup. All right, guys, so we just finished up at RCR. Shout out to them. They always let me film in there and whatnot. It's really cool. So we're gonna head back now. We're gonna link up, and hopefully Nick even knows what the two shoes that I got are. That'd be interesting to see but hopefully he finds something maybe he tries to finesse me i don't know i'm excited but we'll head back now and uh check in and see what we got Just got done here in Little Five Points at uh, the other Ragarama location. I got a pretty, I got a pretty cool looking Air Force One, but I should have went with a couple of the shoes I picked out at the first Ragarama location because they were, they were pretty cool for way less of a price. All right, that took forever in this ATO traffic trying to get around from store to store, but I finally ended up with all the shoes I wanted to do. I got four pairs. I wonder how Harry did. I don't know how many pairs he got. We'll get back. We'll see, and we'll see who did better. All right guys, we're back. We have all the shoes here for each and I'm excited to see what we have. I think I might've got Nick beat on some of these, but we're gonna go from the cheapest to most expensive. You had, did you have a good day of thrifting, do you think? I had a good day. It was a little stressful. I ended up getting caught in like traffic and stuff, bunch of people in the stores, but I think I found some pretty good shoes. I went a little bit earlier, like we were kind of out at the same time, but a little bit earlier. So I'm curious to see if we went to some similar stores because I see some bags from some stores that I went to too, Ragarama. We actually both went to two Ragaramas. We went to, I went to Buffalo Exchange. You went to some other ones, I think, but we're gonna go ahead and see what we got. So first up for me, we're gonna go cheapest, most expensive, is going to be a pair of Yeezy Calabasas Power Faith and in black, a size 10. So these are actually, I like these shoes. I wear these a lot. I wear the white pair a whole lot. These are retail 120 bucks, got them for $50.50. I don't think that's too bad. They go for about 60 to 70 bucks and in really good condition. Look like they've barely been worn. Toes look perfect too. So I'm pretty happy with this. What do you think? First pair. I, might be cheaper, but. I found a pair of those, and the only reason I didn't get them is because they weren't my size. If they were my size, I would've got them and kept them 100%. Did you get mostly your size? Because I, I didn't. I went like around my size, but it like it just happened to be when I was in the store, the stuff around my size was like what I thought was cool. I got these. Uh, first off, we want to say what our total spent was too. Let me add up mine real quick. Let's add it up to see who spent more. My total came out to $400 after four pairs. What was yours? Mine was 440 after four pairs. So $40 more, but we'll see kind of how it spans out because my first pair is only 50 bucks and let's see what his is calabasas i think it's a good one this is an actual cool sneaker too my first pair is a jordan one soh pastel and it is in my side i just thought these looked crazy up on the wall i had i hadn't seen them ever before like maybe a picture or two but once i saw these in person i was like i have to get these ended up paying a little over 100 bucks 100 dollars and 50 cents so not a bad pickup in my opinion i have not seen these before this is like a interesting it's like a carolina colorway but you guys can see it's got a satin toe. It looks like it's like a satin material. Also has like suede and then these swooshes are crazy. The clear outsole. That's a crazy pickup. 100 bucks. I don't know. Do you know how much these are going for online for like as far as value? Uh, I think like like 20 or 30 bucks over what I paid and that might be like with box but still like I think it was not too bad of a price. Yeah. 100 bucks. Not bad. Jordan 1. This is crazy though. Maybe Nick will be wearing these if you, you see him out. I don't know if he flexed them that much but so that's 10 and a half. At Ragorama as well but his first start out was 100 mine was 50 so he got me in the most expensive part for the first one but let's see what happens in the second round number two for me was from buffalo exchange size nine and a half 55 bucks another cheaper one i got a pair of air force ones was not a big selection there there was not much going on i just found a few pairs of like air max that are like 30 bucks these are 55 best pair I could probably find. It's, it's They're pretty clean, actually. I think these are more recent release. You can see the toe. There's like not much creasing at all. Bottom is a little dirty, but these came out in July of 2018. So more recent shoe. Even on the inside, the sticker is still there. So I think that's pretty decent. 55 bucks. 
it was just the best I could find. I, could, I really couldn't find anything that great. I like those, they're a cool colorway. Oh yeah, the back has like clouds and Air Force One NBA logo right there. There. My second shoe, I ended up getting some Jordan 6s. I don't know the exact name of these, but they're kind of like chameleon or like a mystachrome kind of colorway. Those are crazy. And I mean, they're not too bad. They're not too worn. And I was like, I might as well grab these. You know, the Travis Scott Jordan 6s. And I was like, man, these look kind of clean. So those, I remember when those released, they came out with a couple shoes. I think that it was the All-Star Weekend and there's like a Jordan 1 as well. Retail on these like 180, these are used. You can see like the mystachrome aglets. Those are pretty decent though, 100 bucks. I don't think that's bad at all. I would like to see the name of them to see kind of like what the pricing is at, but I think they did sit at stores. So I'm curious, but 100 bucks. For the second round, I think that, uh, I think he beat, got me beat there with those because these are eh, like it's, it's up to the, you guys, the viewers will have a vote at the end of who did better overall, but 200 there, 105 for me. So let's start cooking up. I think my third pair has got me cooked up. My last pair is my most expensive. And I think, I don't know if you've gotten a pair that expensive, but next up for me, is going to be from, I don't know if this was a cheat code, a little up, up, X, X, Y, Y, B, B, but I went to a store called RCR Consignment. You've heard of it, right? Of course. It is a, he had, did you think about that as a, a thrift store? I didn't think about that at all. I'd only been in there one time with him and he ended up getting like, some Christian Louboutin, so I didn't think of that store whatsoever. Yeah, that so that store essentially is like a thrift store for designer clothes, but I wanted to be fair, and if I, they didn't have like a sneaker, I wasn't gonna get it. And so the shoe that I got is a Raph Simmons Oshwego in a size nine. I believe the retail on these is about 300 something dollars. I paid 99 bucks, so cheaper than both of those. 99 bucks comes with the box. I don't think that's bad, and I think this is one of the best colorways in my opinion as you can see right there the white the gold the black it's got like the little pockets of like liquid or whatever that is all the way around i think this was clean for 99 bucks you can't beat this third of the retail value so bottom's a little bit dirty but i i really don't care think about that you think i got you if i'm being honest i probably wouldn't wear these but that's pretty crazy that i got those for 100 bucks i mean they, that might be where the value's at on them but i'm pretty happy with that pickup especially because they're actually sneakers i ended up my last two shoes i think one of them's a little crazier than the other but they're both the same price my third shoe is the Year of the Snake Air Force One. They're Those like, are weird. These are pretty close to DS. Like they're worn, the bottoms super clean. I saw these up on the shelves and I was like, those are wild, I need to grab those. Ended up paying 120 50 for these, but honestly, like how they look, I think I think it's pretty crazy, like a pretty crazy colorway. Yeah, these are, these are weird. They've got like snake skin, but then they also have like, it looks like they like, like a hydro dip snake skin again on the uh, midsole purple also these are nuts do you know how much these are like worth as far as again like i think they're like 20 or 30 bucks more over but that might be with the box so i'm prob probably right around the value maybe a little bit more 100 bucks size 10 that's crazy that, i mean that's a pretty good pickup for at the store so i these are both i feel like that's a comparable like a little bit cool sneaker a little bit interesting but now it's time for the final shoe i'm not sure if yours is a lot better than the others but i believe mine is because i feel like i i just was more of a come up for me. Last shoe for me was at Ragorama. I went to two different ones. I got a pair of Jordan 11. You guys can't tell by the box. Size nine says the price right there, $200.50. Most expensive thing that I could find at the, at the freaking thrifts. 200 bucks. That is a Jordan 11 Space Jam from 2009 check those out you know what these are i've seen them before and that's that's pretty they wild. got they got a pretty crazy yellowing on the bottom condition is actually pretty decent the toe is not that creased you guys can see right there it's not that creased size nine i have to double authenticate them and make sure it's all good i know i could probably go back and give them back if they're not real but everything that i saw at first looks pretty good size nine i thought this was like crazy to find at the thrift store because this is just like sitting up on the wall it was like the mo literally it was like one of the like shrine i tried to show you guys there but they would not let me film at all but it was up on the wall 200 bucks I, I feel like that's the most expensive that's come through that thrift store so this is my final pickup bringing it up to 400 bucks and uh i'm pretty happy with it i'm very happy with just this pickup alone i want to say before i even grabbed my last shoe i couldn't even find a pair of shoes that was around 200 bucks so he they had to have got out of all the thrift stores we went to the only 200 dollars shoe i didn't see <laughs> any other 200 dollars shoe and i guess i got there before he did because he went to the same one and i scooped up that final or that most expensive pair so i'm pretty hyped on that so now it is your turn to see what you got I see a big old box over there my last pair i had to pick up because it had the box but it's also a jordan 6 jordan 6 
alternate. All right, it was a big size too. Let's see. Look at these. Ones. They are like brand new. Yeah, that's actually those are pretty nice. They got Jordan Six. Dang. Saw saw the little flight club, flight club, flight club, flight club, flight club tag in the box. That's kind of crazy that they have a flight club tag, but these are kind of crazy. The this is pretty good. Like they're not that used. Like the toe, there's literally no creasing. The bottom's got some wear, but size 14 is a big size. Probably if these were like a size 11, they probably would be like 200 bucks around there or something like that. That's kind of crazy because the retail on these is hot. It's up there. So combined total, his four shoes were more expensive than my four shoes, but he got a little bit more expensive pairs throughout. Now we want to leave it up to you guys. Who do you think had the better pickups out of the four stores? Who had the better four shoes? We're gonna have some voting going on. There'll be a little thing that'll pop up probably right here on the screen and you guys will be able to tell us who did better. Let me know what you guys think. If you want a summary, my pair, Jordan 11 Space Jams. I had a pair of Air Force Ones, Raph Simon on Shuigos, Easy Calabasas Power Phase, and for Nick, he had the Year of the Dragons, the Jordan 1 Satins, the Jordan 6 Multicolor, and then the Jordan 14, Jordan 14, Jordan 6 Alternate, in a size 14. Let us know in the comments down below who won, and let us know if you guys enjoyed this type of battle, because maybe we'll do it again with like the most expensive item in a thrift store, go to a bunch of different ones, find something. Let us know in the comments down below. We don't know who, what you're gonna get if somebody wins. Maybe it's just a uh, you win, high five, pat on the back. Well, I was gonna say, honestly, the way, the way that this went, I think we both did pretty good, because it's, I don't want to say it's like super hard to find stuff like this, but it was not easy, especially trying to like film it and get everything done. Like it's, it's, it was kind of stressful to try to find some good shoes, but I'm glad we both came away with some good pickups. There's a lot of doo-doo in these stores, oh, yeah. which I mean, a lot of the stores is like donation or it's like people drop it off to get paid out. Like basically con not consignment too, but thrift where it's like people come drop off and then the store decides that they want to sell it. That's kind of the vibe there. But let us know in the comments down below who you think did better. And if you guys want any of these shoes, I'm going to be leaving them on my website, but I'm probably going to post them up. None of these are our size. Well, some of them are our size, but some that aren't our size, we'll put them up on the website. You guys can grab them. We'll probably put them up for what we pay, if not less. So check it out, hairsnevel.com. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Check out cameraman Nick down below. Check out our second channel where we do car stuff, both of us together. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.